idea ones. This is a timeless pick a card reading with the topic monthly love prediction with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. Whenever you are guided to watch it, this reading will show up and draw your attention to it and it will predict the month ahead. Sometimes it wants to show you what you have already been through to make you understand your situation better. It is particularly aimed towards singles and their love life or non-existing love life, but can work wonders for other groups as well. And this reading came to life by the sponsorship of Diana. And if you want to support my channel in the same fashion as Diana, you can follow the donation link in the description box of this video. You have four different piles to choose your reading from. The first pile to the left is the Radiant Rider White Tarot. And this is the original Rider White. And this is an unknown Rider White styled tarot. If you know the name of it later, you can tell me because I'm curious. And this is the Golden Universal Tarot. You can listen to all the readings and see what resonates or you can choose one of the piles intuitively and go directly to your chosen pile with the guidance of the timestamps in the comment section and in the description box. box. So take note that the reading can be in the reverse for some of you. And if you need more information or help after you are listening to this reading, you can turn to the love readings for the season that is up, or you can check out the pick a card and near personal readings on the first page of my channel. Click the headline of each uh, playlist to see all the videos that the playlist contains. And you come to my page by clicking my Queen of Cups icon that's somewhere here. So I will give you a moment to choose your deck. Okay, so I hope you were able to make your choice. I will now uh, shuffle the cards and eventually start to read for pal number one with the Radiant Rider White Tarot. Okay, so now I have shuffled and uh, sh chosen the card for your reading and this is pal number one with the Radiant Rider White Tarot. So this is your little pal and it has this um, a somewhat uh, pink purple stone of uh, it's kind of clear crystal but has some pink in it and uh, this are your love oracle looks like this and romance cupid's arrow strikes so that sounds very promising and uh, these are your uh, cards and here are your oracles. So we have from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. And this is from the Pagan Lenormand Oracle Cards. So the first Oracle card is uh, Six of Swords, Healing Begins. So it shows a veil that's being um, opened up and the heart chakra being open and this beautiful circle here feels very helpful and uh, then we have the tower um, it's a major arcana card six number 16 and it shows again the heart chakra and some amazing energy that's coming to your aid here and the angel wings kind of protecting you on on your new journey here and we can also see this rather interesting thing here uh, where we have these flashes of inspiration from a divine point of view to change a direction, to change an old pattern, to destroy it so that we can heal. And this energy is kind of going up like this and spreading uh, also to your uh, future partner or um, to the people that you are uh, sharing your life with. So you're sharing this, what you have found here. Uh, with the veil and then we have throat chakra so that is using your communication skills probably to spread the word uh, of what you have learned 
and here we have take the lead which is three of wands so it shows uh, participation and communication and projects and here we have the um, leader it's the emperor number four uh, so it, it feels like you have a very serious uh, business uh, to do uh, when it comes to your life in uh, the month ahead and uh, it shows you as a spiritual disciple that needs to communicate uh, what you have learned uh, through opening the veil here and to going through some kind of um, challenging times, some kind of um, maybe destruction even to your life, your love life, things like this. Uh, and you have sh you have learned something about your soul, about your uh, about your spirit, about personal growth. You have seen something that you are supposed to share in projects together with others. That you are some kind of leader there. Uh, so you need to take a more prominent role um, when it comes to uh, to your relationships. And it might be that this is the divine feminine coming with this energy to the divine masculine. We can see this in this oracle card here. Okay, so, and uh, I'll save the pagan Lenormand for later. And I will start looking at your radiant rider white tarot. And we have here the five of pentacles and it comes uh, in reversed. Uh, my aim was to not do reversals in this reading, but it came through a lot uh, anyway, even though uh, the most of the card wasn't flipped. <laughs> so it's uh, really keen on telling a very specific story because the more variations you have in a tarot tar card, the more specific it can be. And the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, it shows that where the healing begins, uh, it's about uh, your self-respect. It's about your self-love, how you look at yourself and your value in the world. It seems like you have a very important role to play in the world, but you might not have understood this previously. You haven't got that information <laughs> or it kind of passed you by without you taking notice. But And we can see these two lights here. So it's something supportive that has been cooking in your life underneath the surface and trying to tell you that you are important, that you are blessed, that you are crucial for the people around you. I think maybe you have given too much leadership to other people and, and maybe try to become loved by them. And uh, you have kind of crucified yourself in the process, but that is now all changing. So you're not, you're not going to do that anymore. And the next card is the Five of Cups, and it also comes in the reversed. So um, you are not set up for disappointments anymore. And it's not because life is not going to be disappointing. It's because you are becoming more heroic with how you take it, because you have kind of been through hell and back here with the rebuild. belt. We can see the black clothes in both this. And you, you made it through. Uh, you came out all renewed and even stronger and better than you were before. Uh, so nothing can really bring you down. And I think this will have learned, taught you a particular way to keep and maintain balance in your life and not let other people disrupt your balance. If they make you disappointed, probably you focus on something more fun to do and kind of... Uh, put your attention away from the disappointing situation to something that's more rewarding in your life. So you're not paying attention to people that maybe wants to manipulate you to make you feel sad so they can get uh, power over you. This was possible before when these two were in the upright position, but it's not possible anymore with what you have been through. But that's not going to mean that you're not going to be challenged. And here we have the Eight of Pentacles that comes underneath the Throat Chakra card. So it shows that people, even if you have had your way of telling your side of things, I don't think people have listened particularly carefully to what you have said. Maybe you didn't say it with enough conviction, or maybe you said that, oh, we can do it like this if you want. Uh, sometimes you really need to you know, go to war for your ideas and for how you want to be treated and how you think relationships should be. Uh, but here with the Eight of Pentacles, it's, um, the Divine is a little bit disappointed with you not 
putting more of an imprint on people around you uh, with telling more thoroughly what it is that you think needs to become um, better in a relationship, for example. Maybe you have endured a lot of stupid things that you shouldn't have endured. And with Eight of Pentacles here in the reverse, it's probably telling that you're not particularly up for uh, another go around. This is an eight. It goes two times in 16 as well. Um, so I think you have been in your fair share of uh, difficult situations where people uh, not trying to really cooperate with you or there's not an equal give and take uh, situation. So you feel that you don't want to continue giving in this stupid situation and you don't feel like anyone is listening to you anyway. But and here we have the page of cups and it comes underneath take the lead. So it seems with this page of cups in the reverse, it seems like whoever you are sent to deal with uh, is probably ready for you to take the lead. We have take the lead and lead. Uh, it can't be more <laughs> clear than that. <laughs> the instructions. And here we have a little, maybe a little date of yours that you are going to encounter. Someone that really needs your leadership. They probably think that they are the leader, but they are not. Um, you need to show them how things are done. It doesn't mean that you have any kind of obligations to them. But if you don't like what they are doing, for example, you can tell them in a nice and diplomatic way while you are maybe asking them to also leave the premises <laughs> or leave your life even. Um, so when we meet new people, we usually have the best behavior and we are trying to be nice, but you are asked to, to be on your best behavior and be nice. But when a person is not really responding in a way that's comfortable for you, that probably, that's probably say something about how other people react to this person too. And if no one tells them, uh, what is their problem? Uh, they are never going to know. So this seems like a little bit uneducated love um, offer coming in uh, with a person that needs your leadership. Either it's just for a short while, maybe just a message where you tell them, um, um, I'm not going to go on any more of our dates because uh, this is how I feel. This is what I reacted to. I wish you a blissful life. And um, that is can be enough for a person to realize, okay, next time I will try something else. I won't say or do that, or I won't uh, keep my mouth open all, all night. Maybe I will ask more questions or whatever is, uh, is the thing that you have been uh, complaining about. So uh, you're actually <laughs> are not, you're asked to select among the people that you are dealing with, but you're also asked to uh, to give them some guidance or take leadership. And this can be in other relationships too. It doesn't have to be a single person going on a date. It can be any kind of situation where you might need to give uh, certain feedback and take leadership in a situation or a person that seems um, a little bit unknowing and particularly in the area where it comes to emotions, where they don't seem to uh, be able to deal with other people in a, in a proper way or in a nice way that they can understand or feel comfortable with. Uh, and, and you need to give them that information, even though you don't want to, <laughs> because you don't want to, I can see it there. And here we have the Ten of Pentacles. So it says, um, don't expect your relationship that you find now to be forever uh, because um, I'm, it's almost like I'm seeing you being sent to a lot of different situations uh, to spread the word. It's not like you are Jesus going on around to be the prophet, but almost, but in a, like in a smaller scale. It might be a bigger scale as well that you are meeting several people maybe on a tour or you're going on. Um, you're having lectures to people, it can be in that scale too. But for most people, it will be the day to day conversation that you have with people uh, will be, um, it will be very important for them, not particularly important for you. It doesn't seem like you want to build anything with this little page of cups here, because they are not really uh, cooperating in the best way uh, with you. And you don't, you don't feel like this is any material for a person that you want to keep for the long haul, uh, but you're still sent with your throat chakra to 
give some kind of uh, advice for how the person eventually will be able to meet someone uh, for the long haul, even if that won't be you, okay? So here we have you, uh, Page of Swords, and it comes underneath the Healing Begins and the Five of Pentacles. Uh, so I'm definitely feeling like you have risen to the occasion. You're still like this page here, but the page means that you have one side to you that's undeveloped. And that side has to do with sharing your viewpoint, sharing your word. Uh, this card says to me, uh, <laughs> say, uh, say the truth, even if your voice shakes. Okay, even if your your uh, knees uh, <laughs> clabber to get like and your th teeth as well maybe you're still supposed to say the truth and give like clear answers clear advices is what i'm feeling as well um so you might feel like is this really my job yes as a human being it's your job uh, you need to help other people see themselves we can't see our own shadow someone else needs to tell us uh, what we are doing wrong because it's our shadow is a shadow for a reason because we don't want to see it. So we can't see how we are behaving towards other people. But if they give us correct feedback, uh, we can understand what we need to work on as, as souls to have better human relationship because that's the whole aim here, to get better human relationships. And if you want better human relationships, uh, you need to start to tell the universe what you like and what you don't like, what you want more of, what you want less of. If you say it's not my job, well, uh, the spirit can't give you what you want because they don't know what you want. You need to, you are the creator. You are going to say yes to the things you want, no to the things you do want, using the law of attraction and the law of repulsion. Um, and, and to tell someone in their face that um, I like this, I don't like this, uh, is, um, is a very powerful way to create uh, your future. Here we have the two of pentacles. So uh, you're not going to enjoy this particularly much. You're going to feel like, will I ever find stability? Will I ever find a partner? Will I ever find this uh, career that where I can feel at home, where I can be appreciated? Uh, will I ever feel, find relationships where I don't have to work so hard? So you will have to, uh, you will not find rest, okay? You will not find your happily ever after uh, right now it's right now that you are creating this happily ever after okay with this um, uh, card that we saw here romance cupid arrow strikes but it needs to know where to strike you know it's missing the target all <laughs> it's it's kind of shooting the wrong people in the behind and uh, you want them to shoot the right people but then the aim needs to be better so tell them tell universe and the people around you what you want and what you don't want uh, and here we have a little page of pentacles. So we have three uh, pages uh, as of now. So it shows that people, um, both you and other people here, are very uneducated, probably in the matters of love. Uh, but for you, uh, it's about speaking your truth and standing up for yourself. I can see a trait where you as a child maybe learned to keep quiet that other people were... Uh, the authorities they were grown-ups and you learned that they their words were law and it's like you never grew out of that and become a um, grown-up human being with your own authority but this is what you're working on now uh, together with some person it might come in more than one date here uh, the page of pentacles might be a little bit more ready to do the work uh, with you it doesn't mean that this relationship is going to be perfect because it's still a page so they are just trying it doesn't mean that they know how to do it and here we have the high priestess and it comes underneath this three of wands page of cups and it's another two i'm feeling it has to do with your wisdom again but i'm getting a little bit um, I'm getting something else, so I'm, I want to see here with the energy oracle card what we whoops what we can find. Um, thinking the thinking man. So I think you will meet a person that's a little bit mysterious, and you're going to have to use all your wisdom uh, to be able to understand this person. It's a very secretive person. 
well, people are secretive. I don't like that. Okay, this would be a situation where I told the person, well, you are not sharing um, yourself, so I can't really know who you are and uh, what you want uh, with this situation. Either it's a work uh, situation, um, personal situation, um, uh, friendship, uh, romance, whatever. So uh, this combination is a person that's being very in, into, in, in, they are intelligent, okay? They have a great intellect, but um, they're keeping it from you. They're keeping a lot of secrets from you. And um, you are supposed to see that, um, seeing the similarity between the headgear and what he is holding there in his hand and the arches which shows that this has been going on for a long time. This structure is very resilient structure, can st stay up for thousands of years. Um, so it's something you have built with this person, but they are not letting you close. Uh, they want, they have the best intentions, but they might have something that's making them precarious and a little bit scared and, you know, thinking 13 times before acting. So mainly uh, I would characterize this person as a, a chicken, okay? <laughs> so, and here we have the eight of cups. So if you are meeting people, even if they seem to be the best match with you and that you have the, um, you know, you have a real good opportunity, keep your eyes sharp, all your antennas out. And when the person, even if you like the person, even if you feel like, oh, this is the person and you feel like this is the situation you want to be in, you want to, you know, here you want to set your seeds to the ground, you want to work together with this person. And then they are acting like this and just, you know, can't get their uh, feet moving or the butt from the share or they can't you know, take decisions or move forward. They're just thinking about things, thinking and maybe s taking step backwards when they get overwhelmed and overthinking things. And that is, again, uh, this one. And you kind of said, well, we are, will not have eternity together because you're not particularly cooperative and you don't know how to court me or to approach me in a way that is uh, is normal and sane. And, and you tell them how. <laughs> so... And that is giving this person more, uh, like valuable information. But then you are meeting someone where there's again two, two. It's not real balance between you because this person is holding a lot of stuff in and you're supposed to have your antenna out to see this so that you can walk away also from this person, even if it pains you a little bit. Be this uh, person of, she's like a high respectable person. She's um, high value not giving herself, I'm saying her because it's a she here, but it can as well be a man. Uh, so you need to uh, not sell yourself off short here. Even if you like the person and uh, maybe you like them a little, we can see that your heads are turned away from each other. But um, it's like people are a little bit shy when it comes to love or new, it's new. Uh, relationship so we are so unsure if we want to bet on this horse or not and you don't want to bet on a horse that's not fully betting on you so that's what I'm seeing here and uh, now I will move on to your uh, pagan Lenormand cards and the first one is the rider uh, so I'm seeing you uh, the writer is a very positive signal, new adventures, new messages coming in. We also have the Page of Swords that's kind of talking about new messages. Um, and um, we also see Three of Wands is messages and we have a scroll there and a scroll there. So, but it's more about wisdom and how to choose your road ahead. So it's, it's a crossroad here and in every crossroad you need to choose well, choose smart, choose wisely from your old knowledge, from your book of wisdom. Uh, so don't uh, stay with, you know, um, doofus or phony people. That's not going to give you what you need anyways. Uh, so, and then we have, yeah, the snake. So it kind of tells its own story. Um, and it comes underneath this symbol with the eight, the eternity symbol. <laughs> and uh, it's talking about the snake biting its own tail. And so I think you have had cycles with a lot of snakes uh, where you have been uh, trying to work very hard to 
make the relationships work with these snakes but I don't think you're supposed to make it work at all. I'm thinking you're supposed to use your clear judgment uh, to be able to choose wisely and walk away. And here we have flowers. So this is a beautiful uh, symbol. And I'm thinking this is, you will get a lot of attention, beautiful attention from people. And you probably want to be grateful uh, for the attention that's being brought to you. So you want to see, oh, there's destiny. The person stops you on the street and say, hey, I couldn't help but noticing your beautiful eyes. Here's my phone number. And you want that to be destiny. You want that to be, you know, the starting of your romantic fairy tale. And uh, we have the stork here. So I, I, I'm seeing new things coming in for, for you. Uh, beautiful things just as maybe beautiful, more beautiful than what I told you. <laughs> and um, there's, there is a destiny out there for you, but there will be many fake destinies. So you will have to choose wisely because the flower is a little bit uncertain symbol. It can be people that's, um, that's charming on the outside, uh, crap on the inside. But this card is telling me that this is a new beginning here. It's a stork. It's a, something new, something fresh, totally pristine uh, that's coming in. So from all this, where you're choosing that, um, with among the snakes, eventually it's like, um, it's like searching for gold. You put um, gravel in the pan and a little bit water and you're doing like this and sorting, 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 sorting. Eventually you will find some small um, small um, like grains of gold uh, and these are this stork here. Uh, so it's a number game with your love life we can say. You have to sort among the stupid ones to get to the ones that's your new beginning. So you need to sort by the doofuses and the the people that's uneducated in love can't show their emotions, maybe being cocky, showing off when st really they are very vulnerable and and emotional, but they don't know how to show that vulnerability to you. So they show some some something else that's a little bit more hardened and and um, uh, even aggressive sometimes. And then you have this character here that's keeping a lot of secret from you, even though they want uh, the best kind of future probably with you. And still, you need to sort them out and then uh, this is kind of way way in the future it says when you have sorted out all the snakes then uh, you will have this little grain of gold and uh, <laughs> that is what what we are hoping for uh, for you uh, my my dear number ones okay so um, I, I will show it again a little bit so you can see it from above Okay, so I will move on uh, to pile number uh, pile number two, and I'm putting together these cards here. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you want to support my channel, there's a, a link for uh, this in the description box. How to donate to my channel? You can also watch the ads, click them, or watch them for thirty seconds which is also helping my channel to, to grow and freeing up my time to make more videos like this for you. So I'm moving on to pile number two. Pile number two. So pile number two is this beautiful amethyst crystal. So I'll put it there and uh, these are from the Lover's Oracle for you. Passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So, being very attractive at the moment. And this is your original Rider White. And these are your Oracle cards. We have the Heart. Uh, Psychic Tarot of the Heart here for you and the Pagan Lenormand Oracle that I'm going to show you later. So the first uh, Oracle here is um, Nine of Cups, Dreams Coming True. So it's a card of Law of Attraction, how we are able to make our own life happy and grab whatever we need uh, around us to put into our life and make it more happy. 
so it's about creating a universe for yourself and it works very well with the card that came before this card about passion and magnetic attraction uh, so you're basically creating your life at this point and here we have crown chakra uh, so you're visualizing a lot and what it is that you want in your life you're truly being a creator so remember, the more skilled you get with this, the more responsibility you will get for this. So uh, try to purify your mind as much as possible. And, and whenever you find yourself uh, thinking um, heavenly on bad situation or things you don't want, um, say thank you to this ideas that's coming up of how you want to be treated and not and maybe journal a little bit about it um, this is what I have learned from my past I don't want uh, people to treat me like this I want I don't want these kind of experience in the future I will say no to them so you give gratitude and love uh, to these conclusions that come up in your mind and then you focus on what it is that you do want because you don't want to focus too much of what you don't want because then you will get more of the same and since you are a powerful creator here uh, it's easier for you to create this uh, past that you don't want than what it is for others and uh, next is release and that is death so it's kind of what I just told you write it down uh, as the knowledge that you have learned and let it go uh, you need to let it go the old needs to go it's not where you live anymore um, sometimes we hurt ourselves over and over with remembering stupid things that people did to our towards us and we remember this and, and then we hurt ourselves again because the body can't see the difference between what is happening now and what you're thinking about what is happening. So your body will react with adrenaline and other stress signals and, and feel fearful and start to uh, lower its vibration. So you want to just release this and give a lot of gratitude to the beautiful wisdom that you have gained by going through what you have gone through. Uh, even very rough and challenging and awful things have taught you a very valuable lesson that you want to keep. So keep the lesson in your book of wisdom and release the rest. It's not happening now. Live in the now, not into the past, not into the future too much. You're visioning your future and then you're staying in the now. Okay. And then we have daydreams and decisions. Uh, and it comes also together with the solar plexus chakra. Uh, so you can't only daydream and envision because it's not the divine or the universe that's going to send these things for you. You are going to go out and grab them. So if you want a new job, go out and grab it. If you want a new partner, go out and grab that person. If you want a house, go out and grab it. It doesn't mean rob. It means um, see to that it's happening. If you want a house, say for it and start to, you know, go on house um, shows. <laughs> I don't know exactly the name for it, but uh, go there and see what it is that you um, <laughs> feel at home with. And it's the law of, um, it's the vacuum law. I don't know the name in English again, but uh, when you don't have a thing, say that you don't have money for a trip. Uh, and you want to make that trip and you feel with your whole being that I'm going to go on that trip. Uh, it's going to be amazing. I'm going to have all this wisdom. I'm going to learn all these things. And um, then you book the trip. You don't have still the money. And that's the, the walk vacuum law. So it will create a vacuum um, because there's no money there. So it needs to be filled with something and it's going to be filled with money and you will be able to go to the trip. We can't use this uh, like foolishly but uh, it has worked wonders for me. You can buy a house that might be a little too expensive for what you can afford, and you will totally be able to afford it because of this vacuum law. Uh, so you want to be a go-getter, a go-grabber, not being uh, stuck in la-la land, just daydreaming. You need to make decisions. Take action with your solar plexus energy. Go out and create your life. So if you want whatever you want in your life, when it comes to love, you want more passion, go out and get it. Okay, so these are your tarot cards. And we have the five of wands. So I think there have been problems with finding a, a good partner in the past or um, be able to cooperate with other people in a way that you found 
um, supportive. Uh, so you probably had met with people that have very different idea of what kind of future they wanted. And you probably tried to match one another's ideas with each other, even though it wasn't really a good match to start with. And here we have the two of pentacles. So that's what's happening when we're trying to match one person that wants to travel the world with another person that wants a beautiful garden and a little hut in the forest and stay there until the, the, they both get old. <laughs> so uh, you're going to get this. It, it's not a good match, basically. And you're trying to fit in to a shoe that doesn't fit. And you're trying to make a person work in your life that doesn't work in your life. Or you're trying to make something that's not your dream work as a dream for you even if it's not feeling particularly good for example you don't like your job but you're trying to endure and here we have the empress which comes underneath uh, death here so it shows that when you release the old beautiful beautiful new things will come because just because this person or this situation or this work wasn't a match to you it doesn't mean that you are not a match to the world. You are a beautiful match to the world. Uh, it's just that you need to find your place. You need to find your position. And you find it through knowing what makes you happy uh, and releasing what doesn't make you happy. And then we have here you being perfectly magnetic to whatever it is that you are longing for. And here we have the tower and it comes underneath daydreams and decisions. So there's a lot of obstacles in your mind that's in the way for you to create what you want. You probably want, you know, a helicopter coming over your apartment building, landing on the roof, sending down the guy of your dreams downstairs and he will come to your knock on your door and uh, you will marry and be forever blessed. It's not going to happen like that. As I said, you need to go out and grab it. It's not going to come to you uh, automatically. So it seems like you have, you're living in some illusions, these clouds here, that divine wants um, to take away it's not going to happen anything for free if you want a dream job create it for yourself if you want a dream partner um, you need to start to go on kind of uh, work interviews with different potential partners and sort right to left um, maybe not throwing them out the window like this but almost okay so and then we have the two of swords so it's something here that you are disappointed on uh, that you feel that universe is unfair and therefore you are not doing anything and the divine advice here was don't just dream go out and get it even if you use the law of attraction to uh, you know until you're getting so tired of saying the same stupid thing or dreaming the same stupid dream it's not going to happen if you don't go out and get it it's not going to find you in your living room or in your sofa or in your bedroom and um, you are going to have to create it i want to take an oracle to see what's going on there with the tower rest and rejuvenation well um, it feels a little bit like you are either pushing it too hard or not pushing at all. So either you are trying too hard and you need to rest and do something fun, take a break from what it is that you're trying to create, uh, or you have been resting and not creating for far too long. And it's really up to you to decide which it is in your life. But um, we can see here that there's not so many you know, buildings being built or babies being born. <laughs> it's just a lot of meditation. And um, whatever you want in your life, it's not going to fall in your head like this. Well, it might if you wait for two years and you just sit somewhere. So eventually someone is going to approach you and give you some, maybe it's a chance to something or, or it's never going to happen. But if you are a little bit more, maybe a go-getter, I think you will be perfectly fine. Okay. So, and here we have the world and it comes underneath dreams coming through with the universe as a symbol there. And then the five of wands and the world. Uh, so it's really about putting yourself in your correct destiny. Sometimes we can try to squeeze um, a person into our destiny, even if they don't fit because it feels so good uh, when we are close to them or when we kiss them or uh, when they call. But sometimes what we feel is um, 
love uh, is sometimes just pain of not getting it to work like we're trying to squeeze them in but it's not working so we're trying even more desperately so the clue is to you know take away this stuff and have this left uh, your dream your idea and then see what fits into your world welcome things to your world but also uh, be able to kind of say no or to um, you know ignore things that didn't work like you're doing here uh, when maybe there's a little bit situation here where um, someone isn't to your liking and then you can just you know send them on their way new beautiful things will always come to you it's not about being ungrateful um, and it's not about trying to make life perfect uh, it's more about seeing the, the difference between trying too hard and trying too little we want balance here and it's a little bit unbalanced uh, with you for for some reason either you're trying too hard or you're trying too little and here we have the eight of wands so this is when beautiful new things are being uh, shown towards you so when you're starting to take the chances or you're saying no to the chances you don't want so it's the law of attraction and the law of repulsion when you don't want something you say i don't want it and the universe will send you something else and say okay is this what you want no is this what you want no is this what you want yes uh, so um you don't have to be oh um someone called me i need to be super grateful to this person no if they are not a great match they are not here we're seeing something that's a much better match and i think it's your own energy it's when you're going with your own dreams with your own uh, visions instead of trying to get something to work that isn't working and here we have the queen of cups so it's about feeling into yourself feeling into what it is that makes you happy that makes you feel at peace that makes you feel emotionally comfortable and supported uh, so we can see the empress here and the queen of cups there so here she was oriented maybe to the future and wanting someone to come and make her happy here but here she's more oriented to making herself happy so that's also a clue uh, don't try to make other people make you happy fill your own life with beautiful things that makes you happy uh, if you're feeling down one day uh, try to identify okay so what is it that's not feeling all right today okay it's this um, and you think it through a little bit uh, you might make some notes in your journal then release and then you're taking your little list with beautiful beautiful things that you love to do and you take one of those things on the list and you go out and do it to keep up your spirit so this is about maintaining your inner world in the most beautiful way so that you are in a beautiful harmony with the universe and beautiful harmony with the rest uh, of the population which will draw beautiful things into you you know the card of passion with you being magnetically attractive and here we have the four of cups together with the star card uh, okay so i think uh, be a little bit more picky um, go out and get what it is that you want but don't be overly modest with what it is that you want you're actually allowed to say no to things uh, that you don't want uh, in your life and the right kind of match it wants to come to you we see both, both the star card here and the world so it's like a destiny to balance the forces that's supposed to meet but they can't meet if you're wasting time with people that is not to your liking or causing troubles uh, along the way or when you get totally out of focus because you might get a little bit angry with the universe for not sending you the right kind of people situations possibilities um, and then you realize it sends you an overflowing amount of possibilities it's just up to you to choose and kind of narrow it down to what's a ringing uh, ringing truthfully with your own vibration so you're allowed to say no to stupid things that you don't want and allowed to say yes to the beautiful things that you do want so going to check your uh, pagan lenormand oracles and here we have the tree so it's about having the image of what you want and then starting to uh, create it from this little seed <laughs> to make this eventually this big tree so if you want uh, you want a husband you don't even have a boyfriend uh, you start with you know uh, dating having this work interviews with possible 
uh, future husbands or wives uh, and eventually they will make it into this big three here and here we have the wolf and it's the dog um, traditionally and the dog is very loyal like a good friend a good uh, husband good wife but I think this is your own loyalty to you comes through very very forcefully here with this dog uh, and then we have uh, the lilies so lilies are for eternity so when you are dealing with people think about what it is that you want for eternity not the things that you want you know I, I want to have this person fit um, because I'm desperate right now try to think what is going to be great for you for eternity okay forever a person that you want to grow old with that you're proud to show to your family you're proud to uh, to be their partner not a person that you need to make excuses for or say I'm, I'm, uh, they are not always doing like this <laughs> so and here we have harvest so it's up to you to make this this harvest uh, for yourself it's hard work but you are the only one that can do it uh, the divine won't do it for you there's no shortcuts <laughs> it's not going to happen that way you are going to see to that it happen all by yourself hard work and dedication so see um, take an overview of your life what is it that's missing to make you really truly happy so that is probably the area where you need to put in a lot of work like the farmer does with its crops to eventually be able to get the harvest and that is what you need to do so it's a person missing you need to go and go out and do the proper work to get them it will just not happen by you know magic wand uh, doing like this and there he or she will be uh, you will have to do the dedicated work and also sorting out among the people that's not fitting to you and finding refining balance this card can seem fit very well also with this the energy that's coming here in the world uh, so don't feel hopeless just because a situation didn't work and you had to say no to someone or they said no to you uh, go back into your uh, internal uh, cooking pot where you have your beautiful own energy be very close to yourself and inside yourself doing beautiful things for you and and then take that energy out into the world ready to say yes or no to the things you want and and don't want okay so uh, i hope this was helpful and uh, thank you so much for watching and if you want to support my channel there's a link for this uh, in the description box for donations uh, you can also click the ads or watch them for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad whichever comes first uh, to support uh, to support my channel uh, so I'm going to take together the cards here and um, move on to pile number three as soon as these cards are gone. It's a lot of cards. <laughs> so. Okay, so uh, pile number three, sorry. So, and it's with this beautiful uh, crystal, clear crystal. And your lover's oracle card. With the butterfly and the tears and the tingling third eye there. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And these are your tart cards from an unknown deck that I would love to know the name on, if anyone knows. Um, and it's Rider White based. And these are your past, no, Pagan Lenormand Oracles. Ew, I think I did a mistake there. <laughs> and these are your um, Psychic Tarot of the Heart Oracle cards. And the first one is success and growth, and it's the eight of wands. So uh, it shows that um, maybe you need to take pause from people, but don't take a pause from yourself. 
uh, you need to give yourself a lot of uh, beautiful love, attention, happiness and fun into your life at this moment and maybe put effort into new projects or uh, new circumstances. Yes, spread your wings to your wands. Find your opportunities. They are waiting out there for you. And then we have base chakra. So you might need to work on the basis of your life, like making your life truly happy before you try to make it happy together with a partner. You need to make it happy for yourself. So it's about working on your maybe on your career, on your house, on your home, your body, uh, your mind, your spirit, your soul, your personal growth, things like this. Your own family, maybe going back to sorting out issues with your original original family. And then we have opportunity beacon. So you're going to have to start to envision what it is that you you want into your life and start to evaluate your life. What is it that um, you want to keep and what do you want to sort out? What do you want more of? What do you want less of? So it's kind of you are preparing uh, for something new that's going to come or that you are going to create. And then we have five of cups. So it's about changing your focus. Uh, changing your focus. I will actually read this card for you uh, from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart, Five of Cups, Four of Cups, Five of Cups. Some disappointment and sadness are inevitable. How you deal with it determines the quality of your life. It may be that you have recently experienced a loss, perhaps the end of a friendship or a failed romance. Maybe your family isn't providing the support you need or you regret decisions you have made. Any number of situations can cause unhappiness. When relationships don't turn out the way you expected, it's natural to feel upset and hurt. However, it's not healthy to m remain in that state for too long. When this card appears, it is time to put those sorrows behind you and shift your focus to what is good and positive in your life. Appreciate the people who love you and your ability to give love to others. Take stock of what brings you joy. Taking charge of your own happiness is key here. Focus on what you have and are thankful for and attract more of the same. So um, you can't expect a partner to come and share your life with you. If your life is miserable, they are not here to make you happy. You are, you need to make you happy. And when you are happy and your life is blissful, uh, then you have really something valuable to share with another person. And it's also about not focusing on the bad things that happened in the past. Um, use the wisdom that came out of it, but leave it in the past. Whenever you are reminiscing about it, Think about what you want instead of what you don't want. Because when you're focusing all your mind capacity on one place, this is what's going to be created. So when you are thinking all about how your life went wrong or how people did you wrong, uh, they are going to continue doing so. And your life is going to continue going in the wrong direction. You want it to go in the right direction. So you need to figure out what the right direction is. Stars and yeah birds flying you know they are they are lifting and they are traveling they are moving across big distances uh, to create opportunities uh, for themselves so you need to figure out what opportunities you want and and then start to create it in your life by your own force don't expect handouts don't expect people or situational life to give you handouts go out and get what it is that you want Often you create things as you go. It's not being handed to you. If you want a job, start working with something or start going on myriads of um, work interviews or send out your CV. If no one answers, do your own thing. You know, Go out and create something that makes you happy and that will eventually give you uh, energy feedback with money coming back to you. And it's the same if you want a partner. Don't sit and wait for someone to you know, notice you, go out and notice people, go out and, you know, uh, <laughs> be, be the hunter and find out what, what you like and what you don't like with people. I like that person's eye, but I want more of that person's behind. And you can sit, uh, you know, in a cafe some, somewhere and just look at people and start to envision your life with different people and, and start to kickstart your dream. And also, you know, give them your card. Say, hey, call me when you see someone with both perfect eyes and perfect 
buttocks okay so these are your tarot cards and again i don't know the name so if you know the name let me know and it's a uh, rider white based so the first card for you is seven of wands and it goes well with the eight of wands and the two of wands here so i think you have been able in the past to say no to something you didn't want so you've started the sorting process and you're very fierce with this finally you're standing up for yourself and then we have this page of swords so again standing up for yourself being this uh, almost young warrior that feels the freedom in finally having the courage to speak your truth and to say what it is that's truly on your mind and what it is that you want and don't want so you might upset people with this approach but this is you kind of defining who you are and where you uh, end and another person begins so the other way around I'm um, sorry for the noise is my dog being clum clumsy uh, so uh, it's about not being the sheep anymore that just goes with the pack and tries to be loved, but actually becoming more of yourself, becoming more of your own authority. You are developing skills that you have lie dormant for maybe your whole life. You haven't been using them because you were fearful of the consequences. But now you're older, so to hell with the consequences. I am who I am, and this is who I want to be, and, and this is the people I want to be with. So you're starting this sorting process. So you're starting to also love yourself and respect yourself. And it's eight uh, Leo energy here. Here is Leo in Jupiter with the other eight. Uh, so it shows this self-love that you are providing to you and encouraging yourself to become your own authority in your life and, and to know your worth, to know your value and not let anyone put you down. So it seems very, very strong. You might have had to sacrifice some relationships in the process and that's why there's a little bit an aftermath here. But you are truly on the right way. It's just that we can't get instant gratification here. We, if we have been... Uh, been sheeps our whole life and try to fit into other people's life or make them fit into our life when it really didn't fit particularly well and then we start to define ourselves here uh, it's going to take like a while for this big ship to change course of direction and um, now you are at least not the lamb anymore you are the lion here look at this beautiful and the next uh, card is the seven of pentacles so it's this what i just told you that you can't uh, expect instant gratification but actually it's just the beginning of your work and we can see a lot of spiritual challenges in your life first you had to say no to things and then you probably wanted instant reward but it didn't come either so you might be teeny teeny bit disappointed at this a point in life but here we have the emperor so you even if you're disappointed even if you didn't get exactly what you want uh, you're still sitting here uh, in your own power you're not making changes and now you're not going to back to where you were and maybe you're becoming a little bit lazy i think your feet your legs look a little bit tiny it's almost like they have lost their muscles so <laughs> don't uh, don't hibernate too much we have two fours here the emperor standing in this can be a little bit like the emperor standing in their um, empire but it's also the emperor maybe staying in their room uh, so becoming a little bit uh, undeveloped here but maybe you need this rest and rejuvenation after this um, burst of fire we have had here with you so you might need to slow down a little bit to take a breath and and um, be able to regain strength and here we have the king of swords comes underneath success and growth seven of wands and the king of swords so i'm thinking you are very uh, judgmental at this time and you probably have a hard time letting other people in so this is not the best time to invite new lovers uh, in your life they wouldn't be uh, greeted with any warmth uh, is what I'm thinking uh, because you have recently learned how to put boundaries and how to say no to people uh, so that is the only thing you're going to do no yes only no and here we have the empress so we have both the emperor and the empress in the same reading and she comes underneath the spread your wings and page of swords and we can notice that uh, 
it's very lofty, these two cards. So I'm thinking your feminine side needs more room for itself to grow. So you need to do more of the things that makes you happy. You basically need to um, fill your life with beautiful things that is very uniquely you. It has your mark on it. It's uh, the quirky little thing that no one else wants, but you want. Um, it can be... I want to be a bicycle, uh, like repair bicycles, or uh, I want to, um, I, I want to start to make uh, socks out of yarn. I don't know. You need to decide whatever it is, your quirky little thing that's uniquely you. So it's all uh, based on you putting a lot of energy into you right now. Uh, usually, when we have the emperor and the empress in the same reading, it might be that there's a lovers couple. Um, here but I'm thinking the lovers couple is you becoming coupling with yourself uh, at this point and this is to make you ready to be coupled with someone else but first you need to become whole in yourself so you can uh, allow for the whole you to be you but it might be um, a male or a feminine energy here in the outside of your life in some way or somewhat included but not really invited we'll see uh, five of swords i think it's a little bit an edgy kind of relationship if that's uh, the case because as i said you're not particularly welcoming at this point you're not going to allow for any mistakes or for the person doing anything wrong before you will throw them out so base chakra lion and conflict so it shows that you are really defending your kingdom and if anyone doing anything that resembles what you said no to here, they're probably going to hear it or notice it or feel it. So you're very protect protective about yourself here. We see a lot of swords people around this empress. Uh, so they are guarding her. There's um, um, the little <laughs> child here and the warrior and this is looking like a child again surrounding this feminine energy so it's like all your archetypes inside of you is protecting you the inside of you the feminine aspect of you so that you can become creative and, and do your own thing uh, so i got extra cards here for you uh, king of cups and queen of pentacles so king of cups comes underneath the seven uh, and the Queen of Pentacles comes underneath the Emperor. And we have the Eight of Wands again, the Eight here. So um, there's definitely some kind of, um, it's a big population here. It's a lot of people in your life. And um, it might be that you will say no to a swords person or a person that you have said no to before. And... Um, and there's another person that you're kind of keeping in your life a little bit. Uh, and uh, you are interested in them. But it might be that you're interested in this person on a friendship level. Um, and um, that's why we have this um, speeding energy. So maybe you are going to create more friendship as of now. Uh, and less romantic relationship. Because you, you have this time where you want to kind of heal yourself. But I'm going to take a look here. Uh, what about this seems like maybe a love triangle or a lot of different love people yeah storm warning and hostilities as i said i i don't think you are going to be particularly inviting towards these people but um if you keep people at this time more on a friendship level and not let them come too far into your life and immediately show when you are overwhelmed or when you don't like a thing um it's, it's like you can keep people in your life on a, uh, on a low level, <laughs> okay? And that situation will be kind of nice and kind of sustaining you for the time being and, and even being very happy and uh, very rewarding. So I'm seeing more friendship relationship for you. As soon as you try to make them maybe more romantic, there's a lot of archetypes within you that will guard you and kind of say no to this because they are protecting you against difficult or troublesome or abusive or codependent relationships so it's a time of settling it's it's a time where it settles after the storm but you still remember the storm very vividly so you're still uh, very hostile towards hostile people um so these two cars are very much uh, similar 
we can see this here with the swords and um, uh, you don't want any bullshit in your life so um, you're so set on that so it's hard for you to have harmonious relationship right now with people that you have high demands on maybe you have less demands on friendship relationships and more demands on love relationships uh, and um, in, if that's the case maybe right now rest and and rejuvenate your energy and try to come back into balance and keep fun relationship friendship relationship and and let these make rejoice in your life and um, wait for yourself to become more patient with people and and you can start uh, maybe dating again okay so this is your pagan lenormand oracle card so it shows a karmic pattern that has reappeared in your life uh, over and over again and then we have the fish goes well with the emperor the king of cups here and the fish but i'm thinking this is you rewarding you with new beautiful things you're kind of aimed yourself towards having good things in your life repeating instead of having bad things repeating so you're going to aim your luck towards um good things and anchor yourself and here we have you i'm feeling either you're a male or a female uh, it comes like you here if you're a male i can't see any difference actually i'm feeling you are in your feminine element right now becoming a little bit rebellious doing your own thing um, singing in the way you want painting things in the way you want talking in the way you want um, so being in this revolutionary feminine spirit where we allow ourselves to be ourselves and really love ourselves we can see this with the strength card as well and the empress here and the queen of pentacles and here she comes so i'm thinking it's about anchoring yourself making you more sure that you are allowed to be yourself and um, not caring so much for what other people think or want or believe or uh, you just kind of <laughs> you just throw them out or you are a little bit strict with these people but you're very anchored in yourself so you're not even getting particularly upset if you have to be a little bit rude to someone uh, you're perfectly happy and at peace so this is i'm thinking the aim right now to be in inner peace and let the storm settle let your anger settle so that you can have more patience with the pe persons in the future because you will become more zen when you can make yourself more happy and uh, that will give you a lot of energy and eventually you will be um, happy and uh, rejoicing and feeling very peaceful and that's the time when you start to invite maybe love in your life again okay so uh taking together these these cards and from this unknown rider white inspired kind of deck so uh, if you uh, want if you like this content and want to support my channel there's a link for donation in the description box uh, you can also click my ads or watch them for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad whichever comes first that's keeping my humble revenue up so i can free up time to make more videos like this for you on this channel so taking forward pal number number four sorry so uh, i have this little uh, crystal here for you we put it there and the lovers oracle beautiful cards Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. And uh, then we have your tart cards. It's uh, the golden universal. I have freshly painted the edges because it started to become a little worn. So it will make my hands a little bit black. Um, and these are your oracles. And uh, this is from the psychic tarot of the heart. Uh, this i will read now and these are the pagan lenormand that i will read later so the first oracle card for you is reach out and it's the uh, th three of pentacles so it's about building something stable for the future 
and relying or inviting a little bit other people, kind of opening yourself up a little bit um, to other people and feeling, uh, being a little bit vulnerable with other people, showing your vulnerability and showing your willingness. And here we have believe and succeed, and it's the six of wands. So this is to make win-win situation with other people, uh, kind of being on a, it's like your pioneer on a journey here uh, and we have also choose your battles which is the seven of um, seven of uh, wands and it's talking about uh, don't invest uh, when when it's a block somewhere and someone is a acting rude or insensitive in some way uh, i don't think you have to put much energy into that um, it's um, you know brush it off and do your own thing. Don't invest too much into these uh, um, these small battles or inconvenience or uh, people acting nasty or something. You know, just stand on your own side. Very tough. This is four of pentacles connected to the emperor card. Uh, so um, kind of put a space around you where no one is allowed in. And here inside it's always inner peace. And if someone wants to, you know, talk something that you don't like, you say, you just um, say, okay, thank you for the information. Um, I'm not really interested in what you're selling right now. <laughs> so you don't have to be particularly focused on these um, difficult situations right now. Instead, you're asked to blossom. You're asked to use your judgment, your own authority to be on your own side and create beautiful things in your life. Don't let people bring you down, basically. Okay, don't focus on people that brings you down. Focus on your own beautiful self and what you are able to create uh, in your life. And these are your tarot cards. And the first one is the, um, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles. No, Knight of Cups. Uh, and uh, it comes underneath the Reach Out. So it shows your... Um, your readiness to be vulnerable and to open up to people to create new beautiful situations for yourself together with other people and the two of swords is in the reverse so you're ready to come out of some kind of bubble that you have been in and you're ready to you know travel or to make acquaintances before maybe you were a little bit withdrawn and and you maybe didn't feel up to being around people very much and then we have the Empress here comes also in the reverse. So again, don't be too outgiving. It's a three, three here. You are allowed to be outgiving, but don't be too outgiving. So don't give immediately when you feel like a person wants to steal your energy. Don't give it away to them. You know, have, you can be open up without, you know, opening up <laughs> to the wrong people. Uh, so this is a very protective card when she comes uh, in the reverse like this she's telling you that you don't have to give to the people uh, that are rude to you or inconsiderate to you uh, in any way just ignore them just don't mind them yes here we have the devil and the ten of cups you don't have to be friends with everyone you don't have to they not everyone needs to like you uh, you don't need the devil to like you. Just keep that person on the outside. Um, they will uh, try to approach you and make you fear that they don't like you or that they judge you or they don't think well of you. Uh, but show them that you don't, it doesn't bother you. You don't care about that. Uh, so you can say, yeah, you can have your own opinion. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, I don't agree with you on that point, And that's, that's what I'm going to focus on because... Uh, uh, you don't seem like a joy <laughs> like you want to spread joy around you anyway if you have something you know constructive to tell me and if you want some my help in some way please come and ask me but uh, right now it feels like you have an energy where you want to draw me into your 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 game of making me feel bad about myself and that's not going to happen I feel great about myself Okay, and here we have the 10 of wands in the reverse, so 10, 10. This is showing you putting down a lot of stupid things that you carried around before. So I'm seeing some signs that you have withdrew from people and now you're supposed to re-engage. And it's very important that you, you don't re-engage in the same situation that you engaged in before that kind of 
drew out all your energy. So this time, when stupid situation comes, just put them down, you know, don't put attention to it. Ignore it, walk away, uh, aim your energy to something new and beautiful that you actually want uh, in your life. There's a, a beautiful new potential here, windfall of beautiful things. If you don't focus on the bad, if you don't focus on the people that want to bring you down or that wants to steal your energy, okay? So choose your battles, empress, people stealing your energy. And it's because you are such a bright light here, they want to steal it and you're not supposed to allow it oh so uh, magician in the reverse underneath this um, opening up that i rather feel is kind of closing down it's like you're opening up and before when you have opened up there has come a lot of moth to you and you know into your business because you are this beautiful light and it's still it's still happening but here I think that you you don't row your boat together with these people that's the whole story here don't row to your boat together with these people if someone's being rude say I don't want to work with that person and they're constantly rude towards me and I don't feel up for it I don't have the energy yes um, these people are going to be hostile towards you and it's a test and I want to see how your reaction are supposed to be towards this test what other advice for you when you are tested like this? All tied up. Yes, it's very important for you to be liked by other people. And so you have given a lot of energy into your relationships before. Um, but and, and that has made you all tied up with other people's opinion of you. If other people like you, if they don't like you, if they want you, if they don't want you, and so on and so forth. Which have made people very... Uh, you make you very perceptible to being manipulated by... Uh, energies that doesn't have your best interest at heart they actually want to keep you entangled in these codependent relationships where they press your buttons and makes you uh, all upset it seems like you're a very empathic and a little bit fragile person that needs to put a big fort around yourself to not get um, overwhelmed by rude and impossible people that just want to make a fuss they don't just want to make drama so they, this card here six of swords in reverse is advice don't don't move forward with these people you know throw them overboard and you know swim in the other direction throw yourself overboard <laughs> and flee from the boat <laughs> okay so um you need more strength um if I were in this situation, I wouldn't engage with this person at all. And you have beautiful possibilities for yourself, but it seems like you are like drawn into this mess here. And it's not, it's not um, necessary. You don't have to waste time with these impossible people. You don't have, the, have to have them to like you. You can aim your energy towards people that actually do already like you and don't judge you. So this is where I want you to send these people off to, I, I don't mean kill them, but into the past, you know, it's something of the past. You don't have to have it anymore. You are, you have already been so deprived of your own energy. Learn your lesson. Don't give your energy to people that don't deserve it. And this is very challenging for, for you for some reason. Maybe you are brought up with uh, with very strict rules of how to behave and this has made you a slave to other people so it's very easy to manipulate you or uh, to get you to a place where you don't want to be emotionally so it's easy for people to disrupt your inner peace and you know press your buttons so you will climb mountains for them but this is very challenging for you to let these situations be in the past and I don't think it's very challenging for you to recognize the situation because you will immediately feel um, tired and sad and asking why. Why are this person so rude? Why are they? Uh, and you will feel uncomfortable. The, the challenge, I think, is to, uh, to don't engage, to not, uh, to not care, to not bother, you know. And a letter. Letter and male <laughs> for for some of you uh, it's um, um, <laughs> it's very challenging for you to move on from a situation from the past 
uh, from a person that you love, you kind of want to re-engage with them and, you know, make them happy and love you and all these kind of things. And that's the, it's a bad road, okay? It's a bad, bad road. Instead, uh, I want this letter to be written <laughs> to your inner male that's, uh, you know, having these boundaries, that's saying no to the people that wants to steal your energy, that's ready for beautiful new situations and saying no to the situations you don't want. Um, I'm going to have to take an oracle card to see what's going on there with the letter and the mail. The sh challenges. Yeah, definitely. You need you need um, Archangel Michael kind of authority. Become the Archangel Michael. Walk in his shoes, you know, for months on end. And um, put up... Um, Put out um, your, your somewhat rough energy to left and right and say, no, I don't care. I don't want to listen. Um, put up your boundaries. Be with people, but aim your energy towards nice people and cut off the people that you don't want in your life. This is a major challenge for you. And here it's almost like you're writing a pleading uh, mail to Michael to please come and save you. But if you need a hero, you need to become this hero for yourself. Uh, so you need to become this master of your own life. You need to become your own authority and put an end to this stupid mess that you're um, putting yourself in over and over. There's always going to be uncomfortable, problematic people. And the clue is to not put energy into those relationships and cut them short. You know, be polite. And when the person isn't able to you know, solve their issues or um, understand your point of view, then you just move on. You can even block people if, if necessary. You don't have to solve everything with everyone. You are allowed to just not give a crap and, you know, move on. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you want to support my channel, you can do so not only by watching, but also by commenting, liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. You can also donate to my channel through the link in the description box. Or you can make Google donate to my channel by clicking my ads or watch them for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad, whichever comes first. That is keeping my humble revenue up so I can free up time to make more content like this for you on this channel. I want to thank you so much in advance. I'm truly grateful for my wonderful, loving and always, always supportive viewers. So until next time, stay really blessed and don't let people mess with your energy. Okay, bye bye.